Good evening. I am the cheese monster. And I am going to eat all the cheese. And you can't stop me. Um, this evening I have got a very, a very nice treat. Um, I've got some Crockwell Bishop Stilton. Uh, I bought this mm, about three weeks ago. Um, from a shop in Melton Mowbray, which I have mentioned before, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. Um, it's about time I opened it and got stuck in. Um, there's uh, an interesting story behind Stilton. Uh, it's named after Stilton Village, which is in Cambridgeshire in the UK. However, uh, contrary to popular belief, Stilton is not actually made in um, in the village of Stilton. Um, the story goes that in the mid-1700s, uh, an enterprising cheesemaker from Leicestershire, Francis Paulitz, married Cooper Thornhill, the owner of the Bell Inn, which is, um, or was not a coaching inn, located in Stilton Village. Francis um, was a cheesemaker. She formed a cooperative with uh, a, a number of different other cheesemakers around the sort of Derbyshire, Lincolnshire, Leicestershire area, um, primarily blues. Um, and she began selling these at the Bell Inn. Um, and that cheese became known as Stilton. And so I, although Francis didn't create Stilton, she helped to standardise the cheese that we know as Stilton today. Um, you're only allowed to call to call a cheese Stilton if it comes from uh, a small number of creameries. I think there are six or seven. Let me just look at the list. There are seven. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six here six um, creameries which are allowed to, to name their cheeses Stilton, it's a PDO protected cheese. Um, so we've got Crockwell Bishop here, there's also Colton Bassett, Long Crawson, Tuxford and Tebbit, Harlington's Creamery and Shiredale. Stilton is a semi-soft blue veined cheese made with pasteurised cow's milk. The cheese is not pressed during manufacture which allows veins of Pelicinium rock Penicillium rock forty to develop right through the cheese, giving it its strong distinctive flavour. It is aged for about 12 weeks and manages to remain both a velvety soft, almost spreadable, and uh, as well as a cr crumbly texture. Um, the natural rind is quite hard, it is often grey brown. You can see, let's have a look at this leaf, you can see some there on the edge of that, it's sort of a weird grey brown colour, and it is quite quite solid. This protects the cheese um, from the elements. Uh, right, let's, let's try something then. Oh, it's warm today. Um, so, I, this, so this slice fell apart while I was, while I was cutting it. Um, I'm just going to eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. Very blue. It's got a peppery peppery, not aftertaste, it's got a peppery tang to it. Very nice, I think. I mean, all the, all the types of Stilton I mentioned will uh, differ slightly. Slightly. Not, not greatly. This is probably, I'd say the most popular, the most famous. Mm, it's gorgeous. It's really nice. Just sit here and just eat the whole block. I'm going to have one last bit before I start being with stuff. That had a bit of rind on as well, which is edible in this case. If if you've got some still for which is a little bit too sharp, you can you can slice the rind off to just ease the ease the flavour a little bit. Um, right, what have we got? I've got some 
Jacobs, salt and crack black pepper crackers, got some Carl's water biscuits, got some pieces of sour crackers, and I've got these, which are Miller's Elements Ale Crackers. Done, never had them before. So let's try. Uh, let's try one of those with the blueberry. Bit of blueberry. See how it goes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Fruitiness goes quite well with the, the strong blue flavour. Not too sweet. Let's try a bit of pear. Hmm. That's nice. These, um, I don't know, are they bakes or crackers? I'm not really sure. These are really good because they're not too, uh, they're not too snappy. They're quite soft. Ooh, that's completely falling apart, isn't it? Crack of one more. Um, try with a bit of apricot. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. It's not brilliant. It's really add or subtract to the still flavour. It just tastes like still and with a bit of apricot on it. Big works well. Mmm. That's really nice. I suspect the Castilson is quite a salty cheese that the Jacobs crackers are going to be too much. So I'm not going to try that. But let's see how it goes with the water biscuits. <coughs> uh, I'll try a little bit on its own first. Mm. What I like about wall biscuits is that they, they just don't um, sabotage the flavour. They're just plain. Try a bit with blueberry. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Blueberry is really good for still. So, um, let's try. Four more bits to experiment with. <coughs> try a bit of Peter John cracker. Why don't I just try? Caramelized red onion chutney. A bit of red onion chutney. Charlie's a strong flavour, <coughs> so it doesn't really, it sort of masks the Stilton a little bit. I'm going to try some of this. This is Mrs. Darlington's 
Um, oh, show me. I've been dying to, talk, to try this with still for a while. Let's see how that goes. That just looks nice, doesn't it? Pop nice. Mmm. There it is. There it is. That is. That is class. Mmm. Try grape. Try it all me. So hands are covered in. Shall we? So I've run out of green grapes, they all went off. I've got um red grapes. Exceptional. This is the one. <coughs> I want to see what the difference is on a water biscuit. Mm. Mm. This chutney has an amazing sweetness, but it's it's not as Sharply sweet as some of the other relishes. It just it, it really complements this cheese. Mm. That's what it's made for. That is why. That is why this chutney was invented. <coughs> I'm not going to have another slice. If I was, I'd probably have two. I'd have one on these with some more chutney, and I'd have the other one on these, or possibly a water biscuit with blueberries. Absolutely amazing. Um, that's it. That's Crockwell Bishop. See you next time. Nom nom nom.